Hello, we're doing another installment of our 11 year old mountain man contest. This one's going to be on knots. You will get three uh, stakes here. They're roughly four feet, four and a half feet long. You're going to have two pieces of rope, roughly uh, four feet long a piece. So what you're going to do first off, now the trick is to do this as quickly as possible with as much of the boys helping as possible. So the goal, you, you have to tie three knots, a square knot, a taut line hitch, and a clove hitch. So this is a tripod lashing is what the contest is going to be. So what you're going to have them do is you're going to take the knot, or you're going to take the two pieces of rope, we're going to tie them with a square knot. Once we've got our square knot done, and we've made sure that that's the proper knot, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our first beam here. We're going to do a taut line hitch. Now tell the boys not to use too much extra rope because the reason that we don't want them to run out of rope because if they run out of rope they have to start over again. Again this is all about speed here. They're going to loop around. They want We want three wraps on all three boards. So they're looping in between. It is a full three wrap. So we want to have one, two, three, one, two, and three. Once they get their third one, they're going to do their fraps, which is taking it, pulling it through, pulling it nice and tight. We want two fraps on every single one. We're going to pull it nice and tight. Loop it over our second one here. Again, we want two fraps. Okay. Now, once we've got our third frap, or our second frap, so we got two here, two here, three wraps on each side. We're going to go ahead and tie our clove hitch here on the bottom. Once we have our clove hitch done, then we'll be standing up to make sure it stays taunt. They should have a little extra rope left over just in case they tie their first knots a little slow or maybe not as tight as this one. Once we have it all set up, we're going to have them set it out and it has to stand on its own and be able to support weight. So we want to be able to press on it and not have it slide or anything else like that. So once that's done, the time stops. Everybody steps back and says time. We check to make sure their knots are proper. Um, for every knot that is not done properly, they get one knot that's not done properly, and that is a minute uh, penalty. So if they have a knot, if it all held together, but they tied one knot improperly, or they missed a frap or missed a wrap, that's a minute deduction. So they only get one chance to do it right. The leaders are allowed to talk, but not touch. So this is the knot tying event for the 11-year-old um, camp out. Thank you very much.